She is a wonderful woman. That said, when I said she made a mistake posting that, I meant that using the Holocaust as an analogy is always a mistake. Because no matter how good your point is, when you invoke one of the greatest tragedies in human history, your argument suffers as a result. And the point you're trying to make, however valid, gets lost in the outrage. That using the Holocaust as an analogy is always a mistake. It is always a mistake. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Hear you nothing that I say. Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. A couple of days ago, I made a response to Doomcock, and uh, the reason was because he misrepresented the positions put forward on social media by Gina Carano, and he has done an update. So here's the bad news. Uh, he still doesn't get it, and he's actually, despite his compliments towards Gina, he has actually doubled down on his misrepresentation, actually blaming her for her own abuse. Now, I know people don't want to hear this. I don't hate Doomcock. I watch his videos. I think most of the stuff he does is actually pretty good. He's usually on the ball. But in this case, I'm going to escalate to the fact that he needs to apologize to her. He has now made the position that anyone who talks about Anything to do, any connection whatsoever to the Holocaust, no matter the historical, social, psychological ramifications of any of this, uh, now deserves or should expect the punishment that they get because it's over the top. It should be out of bounds. This is a completely insane position. It was rather poignant what Gina Carano was saying. It's rather poignant. She was saying that they were saying, oh, she's comparing Republicans to the Jews in World War II. That's not what she was doing. I had a second look at her post. I had a second look at what she was. It wasn't even hers. It was what she retweeted. She said the Holocaust was made much easier. This is the, the theme of what Gina Carano was saying. The Holocaust wouldn't have been as easy to accomplish for the Nazis if it wasn't for the fact that the government spent so much time making neighbor hate neighbor you know if uh if the government of the nazi government had to uh round up all the jews and you know try to execute them uh, they'd have some trouble because people have consciences and they wouldn't allow that to happen people wouldn't allow their neighbors to be murdered but if you spend a lot of time creating hatred And making you hate your neighbors for any reason, uh, then it's much easier, isn't it? It is what you call hyper vigilance, hyper defense of people who, quite frankly, the Jewish community are able to speak for themselves. Thank you very much. But more importantly, people who are not allowed to speak about history. And how we got to these things, how we led up to them, are doomed to repeat them, which is exactly what her point was. And in this case, Doomcock, you are completely insane. You, you're saying things that don't make any sense. And in this community, what should separate us from the people that we criticize is that we call each other out and we discuss these matters. In fact, good for Gina, look at the discussions we are having. I think important ones, relevant ones. And a small apology, I don't think it's going to hurt Doomcock. Uh, I think that it'll do him a lot of good because either he's extremely ignorant about philosophy, uh, society, history, 
you know, he's always talking about saving our culture. Here's the way to save our culture is to discuss the historical steps that got us to the point where culture was destroyed en masse. I'm just saying, and I'm not asking anyone to unsubscribe from him. I'm not asking anyone to take my side per se, but to simply let him know, if you can, that this is completely unacceptable, this position. It's insane. Now, whether you think it's in bad or good taste, I really don't care. It's a decent point. So you could sit here and clutch, which is what they do. Oh, my God. How could you do this? Faint on the couch. Clutch my pearl. How, oh, 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 my God. How, how could you ever compare what historically actually happened to something that's happening right now? We've been doing it for four. Oh, my God. But you can't do what we do. Oh, clutch pearls. And they think that that's a they think that's an argument. Further, just as a quick note at the end here, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing this, for some reason YouTube is not letting me share links to my own video. Anywhere you want to put it, on any site, for any reason, knock yourself out. So that's why I look like a caveman, everyone. This snow has been here for a few days. You should see when it comes down. Welcome to Canada.